Your film, The Movie Man, mm -hmm. tell us about it. It is about the most unique multiplex on the planet. So this man, Keith Stata, he built a cinema in the woods out of his house. Not just one cinema, five. And it's in northern Ontario. I went the first time when I was 11 years old. You drive up this road into the woods and you can just see kind of a doorway and it's all covered in trees and you open the door and there's an 18,000 foot multiplex there with a museum that would put the academies to shame. He's got projectors from the Lumiere up until they went digital. Uh, he's got a horror hall, he's got 45 cats, and a popcorn-eating bear that he feeds every night. And it's just, it's a magic, magical place. This is a true story, then? This the is true, a story. true story. And wait a minute, he's got 45 cats. That's right. What, <laughs> yeah. what do the cats play into the cinema theme? Just, he, just his pets. Just his pets. And so people started dropping them off, and he just kept, he just kept them. And so there's literally catwalks all over that people have dubbed the cat castle all around this building. And they're just oh they're goodness. just part of the fabric of the place. It's and incredible. What drew you to this project? But when I was 11, you know, it inspired me kind of to do what I do today. And you know, 25 years later, I went there on a weekend to create something, you know, just to to see the place. And I met Keith, and I was like, I think there's something more here. And then five years later, we we finished this documentary, and it what goes through the pandemic. And so, you know, as we see, you know, like a lot of movie theaters shutter during that time. It's hard enough to get people to go to the movies, you know, as it is. Is. And so the movie kind of watches as, you know, as Keith's health's dwindling, you know, like, will this, like, theater survive? And so that's the other part of the story. All right. That mm -hmm. has... Will it, will it give away the ending? Has it survived? I don't want to give away you the ending. Do, okay. Yeah. Well, so we're going to have to all see it. Yeah, it's a really funny film. You know, Keith's a real character, but there's a lot of heart and a little bit of sadness in it as well. So it's one of those things where, like, going to the movies is about to feel all those things. And right. well, The yeah. movie man. That's right. All right. How's it feel to have the movie man here at the Santa Barbara International Film Festival. It's, it really means a lot to me. Um, you know, we really want to have a large uh, premiere in the United States and at a festival like this that really cares about films and it's a movie about going to the movies, so we're really excited. Um, on a sadder note, um, I, I lost my mom a few months ago and we found out uh, we got into the festival um, before she passed and coincidentally her last trip uh, with my dad was to Santa Barbara two years ago. And so it really means a lot to me to be here tonight and like have the premiere and thinking about her and it just I know it meant so much to her to be here so it's, uh, I'm happy the to be Santa here. Santa Barbara welcomes you Thank and you. embraces your film. Thank Congratulations you. on bringing it to Thank us. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thank Matt. you. Thanks a lot.